Hi, um, this is uh, Matt Thompson. I'm going to show you how to use a bit of software called DVD Shrink. Now, what this bit of software does um, is it helps you um, get a DVD movie and shrink it so you can make it small enough to put it, oh, sorry, burn it onto a blank DVD. Um, so the first thing you do is insert the DVD in your D drive in your computer. Um, and what we're going to do today is first thing is we've got to open the disc. We're going to have to have a look at uh, what it actually is on the, the disc itself. And it's select drive, and in here is we've got Dora the Explorer, uh, Super Silly Fiesta, and uh, if that's the DVD that you want to make a copy of, we get OK. Now the reason we might want to make a copy of a DVD, especially kids ones is uh, when you've invested a lot of money in them, um, kids do like DVDs and they're a little bit with them sometimes, uh, like eat your USB. So yes, well, with having a back copy of it. Um, so um, at the moment, DVD, it does is very good to make a copy of it. Um, it is complete. You have to decide which part of the DVD that you actually want to copy. Um, now it's broken up. There's menus, movie, and extras. Um, and there's also all the languages. Now um, we don't speak any other languages in our house, so we don't need the French one or the Dutch one or the Portuguese one. And we certainly don't need a sub picture. Now, um, now, if we hit reauthor at this stage, what it does is it gets, um, it shows you all the little different parts of the movie. Um, it's, this is the main movie here. These are the menus and these are all the extras. Now, you, th there's no point in having all these extras here. So what we can do is we can just take one part of the movie and put it over here. And that's the only thing we want and this will um, just speed up the whole burning process um, because uh, unless you want to have all the all the introduction part and, and the uh, uh, movies that are coming and things like that on other DVDs um, yeah there's no point doing it now, if you wanted to you'd hit the full disc and that would copy the whole disc but we're only going to burn this one part of the movie so we're just going to hit backup and backup just means that you're going to have a backup copy of that now, once we've hit that, it says target. Um, this is the the DVD that's in the driver now. Now, now what it's saying is, where are you going to copy all this information from? Uh, sorry, where are you going to put all this inf information on your computer? Now, I have a folder set up on my desktop just called DVD, um, and it's just for this process. So that's what it is. So you've got you to choose that. You might have to browse for it if you haven't done this before. And I hit OK. Now, what it's shown me is in my folder, I have the last DVD that I copied. And it's saying, do you want to delete the files that are already in there so we don't get the, the two movies mixed up? So we hit Yes. And then that's away. OK, so here is it's in, in, uh, it's encoding. Um, and this can take uh, 20 um, odd minutes. Okay, so once it's um, recorded the DVD into your uh, DVD folder, then the um, disc is automatically ejected when it's finished. And um, I've just had a look at it. Yeah, it took about 20 minutes. Um, and a little sign on the screen with the disc. So I'll put a blank DVD in there. It's just uh, checking it to make sure that it's going to be working all right. And uh, it just whirls around a bit for a while. And uh, when that's all finished, then it will start the, the actual burning process itself. Now the burning process takes um, a lot less than the reading progress, uh, process. Sorry. Um, probably about 75% time-wise. Um, it doesn't take nearly as long.
Okay, so it's just started to do the burning now. Um, <coughs> like I said, it doesn't take too long. Now there's a little bar across the bottom here. Um, and all you have to do is wait till that's gone all the way across. Um, and the DVD simply ejects. Um, say that you're finished. Uh, you don't want to save any of the um, material on the computer and you can just then delete it. So here it is, it's just starting there. Um, the piece of software itself, uh, DVD Shrink 3.2, is available free internet. You can download that. Uh, I found it good to use. Um, and so far it's working in, in, with all our DVDs and it's compatible. There's no compatibility problems here.